What day and age do we live in that rockets run Linux, cars run Linux, tiny computers run Linux, and you can make Game Boy games on Linux? What the heck guys, my brain is going to become Linux in the future. First thing, you want to make sure you're on the latest version of Linux, then you're going to go ahead, go to the terminal, type sudo apt-get update, and once it's complete, you'll see your name again just like that, then type sudo apt-get install build essential, autoconf, and automake. And now once that's done, go to the DevKit Pro website, getting started, go to the package download and go to the dev file. Now click on that, it's gonna download, and make sure you save it, don't archive, save it to your downloads folder. Now you should be able to go there and see that file right there. You can go back to terminal and type sudo dkpgi and drag that file in there just like that, press return, and it's going to install the Pac-Man manager for DevKit Pro. And then we're going to type sudo apt-get install F, and that's going to fix anything that needs to be fixed. Now we can type sudo dkpg pacman s and then gba dev. That's going to install the gba toolkit that's going to allow us to develop Game Boy games. Now reboot your system, and once your system is rebooted, we can go to a website called Tonk and download their example code which we're going to be using. It's a great resource for learning Game Boy development. So go ahead, go there, download the example code, and you can archive this one. So archive it, extract two downloads. It's going to save it to your downloads folder. And now, go ahead, go into that, that folder. So code, ext, sound one demo, go into the make file, and we're just gonna change a couple variables here. Make sure you have them how you have mine. And then you can go to the terminal, double check that that DevKit Pro thingy exists. So type echo DevKit Pro. It should print out something. If it does, great. If it doesn't, there's something wrong. So now what you can do is go ahead and type CD, then drag the sound one demo folder into the terminal, go to that folder and run make. Now it is actually should make your Game Boy game, you should see the ROM fixed. And once we're able to do that, now we can go ahead and sudo apt get install RetroArch. Now RetroArch is our Game Boy emulator, so that's going to allow us to play this file as a Game Boy on our Linux machine. So pretty cool stuff. Then after that's done installing, you're gonna do sudo apt get install libretro dash mgba and that's going to install the gba part the game boy advance part of the emulator and now we're ready to run that example program all right so now i'm on the phone and we are going to go to retro arc and the reason i'm using my phone is so i can get the sound um, and also have the microphone because i don't really have a microphone so anyway we're going to go to retro arc it's going to say no core which we want a core. So we're gonna go to this load core, press enter, then Game Boy Advance. And now we are going to go ahead and drag our Game Boy game from downloads, focus camera, please. Downloads, code, ext, sound one demo, and then go ahead and drag our sound one demo onto the desktop. And now, we can go to this little menu and we will go ahead and go to load content sorry about the blurry camera start directory desktop and then sound one amazing and if you want to hear that sequence again you can go ahead and press the B button which is right now Z wow so cool and to lower the octave, we can press the left button, Q, and that's going to give us some fat bass. So pretty cool. We can also make the octave higher by pressing W, which is right. Wait, sorry. Ah, that hurts my ears. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for this sound program. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. And in the next video, we're actually going to figure out how can we get this program on our Game Boy using the Easy Flash card. And then after that, we're actually going to write our own code for this thing. So can't wait for it. And I am super excited to get further in this series. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh,